Okay, I start with gluing down two half inch pieces of XPS to some uh, MDF board. And then traced out the shapes uh, of the coffins and tombstones. And if I had planned ahead here, I would have done this and cut these out before I glued them down. I'm just using a little hot tool here to remove the excess space where the coffins can get countersunk into the ground. Once you have the general shape, I just use a little carving tool here to bevel the edges. Again, you don't have to get this perfect because I'm going to be using some sculpt mold here to uh, finish out the build. Sculpt mold is an awesome uh, product. If you don't have any in your arsenal, I strongly suggest you get it. You just mix it with a little bit of water and this stuff will form up and turn uh, rock hard in about 10 or 15 minutes. You don't have a lot of work time, but um, it's really impressive what you can do. And it, once it turns hard, you're ready for paint. Now 15 minutes later, this is all dry. I give it a black primer coat and start with some burnt umber. And then I highlight it with some burnt sienna just to give it a little variation from the last video of part one. I hit these tombstones all with burnt umber as well. finished off the tombstones with some antique white and slimy grime light. I'll link the first series video where I went over how to use this product in detail if you're interested and then flocked and use some army painter tufts to finish up.